Welcome to Nostalgia Comrade. Today we are looking at Iron Man Part 2. The movie starts in St. Petersburg, according to the current play. The cranberries are ready to pick. The sign says groceries, but the brand is probably random symbols. You never see a motorcycle with a basket in Russia, more like in Asia. The TV upper right corner says at present, instead of now or life or whatever they meant. The logo in the lower right corner says News of the Eye. I am Iron Man. The interpreter translates I am the man out of iron. I wouldn't comment on the actor's Russian, because in most places it just cannot be deciphered. Drinking vodka from the bottle proves he is a real Iron Man. Or at least has iron balls. This is the most hilarious part. Tony requires a high-tech laboratory with artificial intelligence to make his gadgets, while Ivan creates a fusion reactor on the kitchen table. The left newspaper is a cranberry. Russians don't capitalize each word in the headline, only the first one. Why he has English periodicals on the wall? Once again, in Russia, they speak Russian. English newspapers and magazines are hard to find and cost at least three times more than Russian versions. What's the point? I can't go past this. Of course, the Lenin's lamp, or Lampochka Ilicha as they call it, was the first source of electric light for rural Russia. But it was like a century ago. What's his cross supposed to mean? Is he Knight Templar? Russian religious cross looks like this. The text on the left lower corner is a number of words without grammatical agreement. And Tony's surname is spelled in Latin. Again, language in Russia is Russian. All the foreign words are translated or at least transliterated. The movie says it was six months later. Why is it still snowing? No winter in St. Petersburg lasts for half a year. It's commonly for around five months. It appears to be summer in New York so it would be definitely be summer in St. Petersburg. This is a complete fake. The names should be both in Russian, written with a slash. Yes, in Russia, Russian is the official language. Each person in Russia has a middle name, so it must be included. The third line should be Russian Federation. This one says he is a Russian female. The line on the previous page is just random symbols. Upper line says Fyodorovskaya with the wrong last letter. Perhaps it's a part of some geographical name. The message says, I hope you like the mashed potatoes, in perfect Russian handwriting. The problem is, when you address someone with respect, you is capitalized. The tattoos are actually hilarious. They are mocking a popular Soviet patriotic song My native country is very big, it has lots of woods, fields and rivers. The tattoos read My native country is very big, it has lots of prisons, jails and detention camps. Did the authors roll their inspirational weed into Archipelag Gulag pages? The rest of the movie doesn't have any more cranberries, so this completes this review. See you next time. I saved your life!